All right, so let's look at confidence intervals. And uh, this video, we're going to do a confidence interval where sigma is unknown, and we're going to do it in Excel. Uh, so if we have a confidence interval where sigma is unknown, well, the confidence interval is x bar minus e less than mu less than x bar plus e. Okay, and then e is equal to t sub c, and I, I put sigma over the square root of n. It shouldn't be sigma, it should be s, because it's a sample standard deviation. And then c is the confidence level, and t sub c is equal to the critical value for the confidence level c, and degrees of freedom is n minus 1. So, so basically what we have here is if, if sigma is known, then to find the critical value for the confidence level, we would use the, the normal distribution. But if sigma is unknown, we, we use the student's t distribution. But Excel is going to calculate all that for us. So, so let's come over here to the problem. Uh, and you can see all the writing. I've already worked this. I did a video on this, working it out by hand, if you want to check that out. And I'm just going to do the same problem and do it in Excel, and we can compare our answers. So it says we have the heights of seven trees are measured. Below are the heights of the seven trees. And here's their heights. There's seven of them. And they want us to find a 99% confidence interval for mu the height of the entire population of such trees. All right, so, well, what all do we need? Well, we need T sub C, we need S, we need N, we need E, okay, and we need X bar, okay? So that's the values we need. And if, and if you notice in this problem, they don't give us X bar, and they don't give us S. Some problems you work, so some of the problems in the textbooks and or wherever you're doing your homework, they they will give you S, they will give you X bar. And if that's the case, well, then just type them in, okay? But let's work this problem where they give us the data and we have to calculate X bar and S, okay? So let's jump on over to Excel, and you can see I already have the values inputted right here. So <clears throat> here, they want to know what alpha is, okay? So, well, let's go back over here. We have a 99% a confidence interval, okay, or 0.99, okay? Well, alpha is equal to 1 minus that 0.99, which is 0 0.01. We need this value, the 0 0.01, not the 0.99. We need that for Excel because that's the value it wants to use in the formula to calculate E. Okay, so whatever your confidence interval is, the 99% the or, or if it's 90%, you do 1 minus whatever your confidence and whatever percentage they want. So for 99, it's 1 minus 0.99. If it was a 90%, it would be 1 minus 0.9, and so alpha would be 0.1. Okay, so let's switch back to Excel. So we have a 99% confidence interval, so this is 0.01. Okay, and let me show you, I showed in the other video, I did a video where the mean sigma is known, and I showed how to do it, but I'll show it in this one also, how to put that alpha in there. So we just go over here to symbols, and symbol, well, and you're on the insert tab. And, I mean, I already have mine right here, but if yours is not showing up, then you just need to go down here to this Greek and Coptic. And it is, let's see if I can find it. There it is. See alpha? You just click on it and hit insert and close. And there it is. Okay. And then we've got S, N, and then X bar. 
let me show you how to enter that in the X with the bar over it so we just type X and then you go to the insert tab symbols hit symbol and you go to this combining diacritical marks click on that and see there's one with the little bar and there's one with the longer one we can just click the longer one just click that and hit insert and close and you can see it puts the bar over the X all right so well I'll move that in the right cell so the gray areas is where we're going to enter everything this one is where the gray you type everything into the gray cells and then these colored cells there's going to be formulas and so this is point zero one Okay. and now S and I know I said that you type the S in I put S and X bar I grade the, I put those in gray uh, because sometimes you will type them in and sometimes you won't okay so uh, and if you don't type them in okay if you if you don't type them in well let's calculate it so we might just have to calculate it sometimes so how do we do that well we can hit equals and then s t and d e v okay standard deviation and we'll click this d v a s t d e v a that one and you can see when you double click it it throws it up there with a parenthesis and then you just highlight your numbers close parenthesis and hit enter and there's your standard deviation and then for n well I mean yes it would be easy just to enter 7 in because we know that's how many there are but what if you have a whole bunch or you don't know how many's you know you don't know how many's in there well we can hit equals and we can go to we can go to count and you see this count it counts the number of cells in a range that contain numbers so we close our parenthesis and then we select that close hit enter and you can see there's seven and now let's do the mean so we hit equals and then average we want the average and hit and select them close the parentheses and hit enter and so there's our mean okay now we need to calculate e so excel has a formula for that so let's come up here to the insert function we'll click that and on when you're on the all tab where it's showing all of them i just click on the first one and i'll hit c because that'll that'll take us to where we want uh, or close to it and you just scroll down and see this confidence norm okay so we've got a confidence norm and a confidence T well since Sigma is unknown we have to use the students T distribution so we use confidence T if Sigma was known we would use confidence norm okay so here we have confidence T and our confidence dot t and we hit ok and so we need alpha so we'll click here and we'll choose alpha and then we need the san the standard deviation okay so we'll click that and that would be this one okay click on the standard deviation and then we have the size so that would be n which is 7 and then we hit OK and there it calculates E force okay all right now let's uh, find our confidence interval okay so so we have E <coughs> now and and what this this e here remember that that does that calculates this whole formula it automatically finds t sub c for you and then you know plugs all this in and you can see for e we got 1.67 which you can see here it's 
you know, the 1.67 was rounded. All right, so now we need our confidence interval. So I want to I want to put a formula in, and I'm gonna we'll string some things together. So I need the parentheses, the two numbers, and the two numbers separated by a comma. So we're gonna hit equals, and now for the parentheses, you put that in quotes. Okay. All right. So I want the parentheses and. So I use the and symbol. Then I need what? X bar minus e okay x bar minus e okay then I need a comma okay and I know it's hard to see in the green but you can see it up here as I'm typing okay so then I need and I need a comma in between them so parentheses comma I put the comma in parentheses now what we can do is if we want a space between the comma and the numbers, we can always come in here and put a space between the quote, the quotes and the uh, parentheses. Okay, so I've got I've got x bar minus e comma, and then and I need x bar plus e. Okay, and then I close my parentheses. So I put a close parenthesis in quote. And then you hit enter and there's your confidence interval. Okay. So we can say with 99% confidence for the trees that you know the population means gonna or the means gonna be in between these two heights here. All right, so I hope this video helped. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out my other videos. All right, thanks.